Okay. I guess we need to head back to the clubhouse now. Okay. I mean, we can't even quick travel either. Never mind. Hello? Is anybody there? Hello. I want to come in. Oh, back you are. Not have you your stew finished? Warmed it up, I have, and refilled. I hope I'm going to survive this. Good it tastes, yes? To talk about important things with Swampy you wanted, probably about the many new members. <coughs> yes, uh, but we'll get to that later. First, you have to tell me that story again about how we were both stuck in the Nexus at the end of part three. Three. Never forget that, could I? Remember how we got in this nexus you cannot? Was so adventurous, me was calling. Please leave that part out. I have good reasons for not remembering my adventures in Simon 3D. Oh well, me from the nexus you freed. We turned home from the nexus together. Strange beard at that time you were wearing. Luckily shaved it off soon after. Return together? Not that I know of. I waited ages for this green gnome. He didn't show up, so I left. Swampy is obviously talking about my double. Talking to people not here again? Together, Nexus, we left sure of that I am. Nice time afterwards we had. Yes, we did. Swampy Society, have you found it because so many fans of Swampy out there? Simon also much nicer now. Now I see. The other Simon comes from the same Nexus like me, but he's the exact opposite to me. Uh-oh. That means that this guy probably has some really bad habits and evil characteristics. Okay. Say, Swampy, what do you know about Kalaba? Why, you ask, Swampy? Want to make Swampy jealous? You probably know best yourself. Your best friend now, Kalaba, is spending more time together with him than with me. Even visiting him in the castle and getting mysterious jobs done for him, you have. Kalaba, I like not. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> so this wannabe Simon has a dark secret. I knew it. I've got to talk to Alex and Calypso again. They ought to know that he has an evil plan. I... I... Oh, sick you look and strange things you say. Bad you feel? I... The stew. Yes, good idea. This is Swampy Stew will help you. More stew you will have. Help! You again? Alex, the situation's worse than I thought. I found out where my double comes from. He's from the Nexus. Yeah, and? Exactly. What's the problem? What's the Nexus again? Don't you understand? This guy's dangerous. He's coming from another dimension. <laughs> and you're not coming from another dimension. You come from another dimension? <laughs> How terribly supernatural! Stop it, Calypso. Your granddaughter ordered me here. What's wrong with you people? Don't you see? My double is evil! He's got so many good sides to him. I don't understand your accusations. You'd better give some evidence. He put me in the dungeon. Is this true, Alex? That's outrageous. Since when do we talk to criminals? What was that? My double is doing business with Kalaba, not me. We don't know. There may be a thousand reasons for his actions. Maybe this Kalaba isn't that bad. 
But he's got a weapon, and apart from that... Very much later. This is the reason I'm sure my double is a criminal. Do you believe me now? Uh, what? Sorry, I think I nodded off. Wasn't it spring when you started talking? Oh, by the way, I noticed Simon. Yes? After all this time, shouldn't you have a beard by now? Or uh, haven't you hit puberty yet? Oh, you have no idea. Besides, let's stick to the subject. Are you convinced now my double is a criminal? A criminal? Where? In my shop? Who are you? Uh, I remember. You're the detective who gave evidence against the sorcerer's apprentice. Go ahead. Show us what you got. Grandfather, he already told us in full detail, don't you remember? Though I must say, he didn't manage to convince me. The other Simon is so kind-hearted. After all I've told you, you're still not convinced? Okay, then I'll find more evidence. I'll get this terrible double. Double? What double? Alex really is totally blinded by my double. But once I've sounded the evil Chamberlain out, maybe I'll have more convincing arguments. This means I have to look around the castle. Maybe I should take a truckload of bribes, just to be on the safe side. In the second part of the game, these stupid guards totally fleeced me. But let's wait and see. Okay, so that confirms that this Simon is the one that came through the Nexus in the third game. And the continuo continuity with this series, or well, this playthrough, is slightly off. As um, at the end of Simon's Swords of 3D, Swampy was in the Nexus with us. And when I played it, I picked him up and took him with me to save him. But that was entirely optional. I believe the default option is to actually leave Swampy there and run off and save yourself. So the continuity... I'm not. I'm not gonna. I mean, it's an, it's an, it, it was an optional pathway. It's good the games that this game is still trying to continue on with, with the uh, original series. So I believe now we have access to a new location. Whoops. So this is the castle. I bet the guards will rip me off again before they let me in. But maybe I won't have to pay if I proceed with caution. Okay, maybe he's pushing the continuity a little bit too much. Isn't it sweet? I've won under my bed just like it. Unless this is actually the same castle. Whatever it is down there, it has more arms than I had D's on my last report card. Somebody is staring over there. Hey, you! Stop staring! I know him. He won't let me pass without asking me about exchange rates and getting money out of me. That's what he already did in part two. Okay, so it's the same. Nice to see you again. You may pass. Hey, don't you want to talk me into giving you my last bit of pocket money before you let me pass? This is strange behavior indeed. What kind of sharks do you think you're dealing with? Okay then, before you change your mind, I better cross. Hmm, there's a passage there, but it's just drawn with chalk. That doesn't really help to get inside the castle. Hmm, a draw well. Surely a secret passage leads into the castle from there. The well is not even excavated. What kind of a loser did that? Hmm, there's a passage there, but it's just drawn with chalk. That doesn't really help to get inside the castle. A 
I believe the first time I played this game, this is one of the places I actually got stuck. Can we go this far? No, we can't. This is a concrete mixer. I really don't want to know how many people Kalaba threw into the moat with a concrete block around their feet. I won't climb up there, I'll break all my bones! A typical trailer filled with beer, dirty helmets, and filthy magazines that I'm too young to know. <clears throat> wow, the cover of the latest Play Barbarian features naked succubi. Unfortunately, they're not returnable. Okay, maybe it's a little bit further on where I got stuck. At the moment, there isn't much to explore here. That's a building plan of the King's Castle by architect Hinkon Winkonstein. There's a coffee stain on it. That's a building plan of the King's Castle by architect Hinkon Winkonstein. There's a coffee stain on it. Okay, thank you for confirming that. Let's head back to the town square. To be no entrance here, but there must be a way to enter the castle. I'm not gonna bang my head against the wall, that's for sure. Maybe someone can tell me if there's a secret passage somewhere? Wait, um... What just happened there? So this is new. No, 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 don't, no, don't go. There we go. This is new. When I was little, I used to play with knights and small plastic figures in castles like this. Hmm. That seems to be a model of the king's castle. Hmm. It's definitely more complete than the real castle. But unfortunately, I can't see any secret passages. The self-help group for Were Creatures invites you to a meeting on the coming full moon. Subject, how can I protect myself from involuntary transformation and how do I explain it to my circle of friends if something goes wrong? Doors open at midnight, please bring a muzzle. A fire warning for when you annoy a dragon with a projectile weapon made out of a forked branch and elastic. Interesting. An advert for some dull dance without music, to which I won't be going for sure. It's a job vacancy. Are you young, dynamic, and dead? We offer a well-founded training as Castle Ghost. Basic knowledge of haunting is required. In addition, at least one year in materialness. Please apply to the King's Castle Management. One of the things that we noticed with Calypso is that, well, First, he's dead, and secondly, he can actually travel through objects, which will hopefully become useful later on. Oh, how lovely! An identical profile of my friend, the Drunken Wolf. Underneath it, it says, Wanted, Bloodthirsty Beast, Attention, Creatures Dangerous, Possibly Under the Influence of Drugs. Always these prejudices. What the hell was that? Drugs! Wow. Let's see what it says. Man-eating beast, usually very inebriated, hmm, hangs around in the forest, uses his fangs ruthlessly. Oh, the media always exaggerate. I'm starting to get afraid of my own fairy tale wolf. What is it? I'm in a hurry. At the moment, I'm working on the music band and preparing a new ordinance. All pipes are now forbidden. That means bagpipes, organ pipes, drain pipes. That's a good measure. There's too much hot air in this town anyway. I'm looking for a way into the castle. Does it say how you can get in there in your documents? Of course. That's quite clear from the plan. However, <clears throat> I did slip up. My little grandson was playing here just recently and brought the whole archive into disarray. 
At any rate, none of the plans and models of the castle are in the archives anymore. What a disgraceful sloppiness! I could equally have been responsible for that. Uh, yes, I'm afraid I can't deny it. And I haven't even got around to collecting the plans and models up again. Knowing my grandson, they could be lying over the whole town and still further afield. However, hmm, there was something about those plans. If only I knew what. Well, I'll keep my eyes open in town. Maybe I'll even find the stuff. Very commendable. There must be exactly four different plans plus two models. I'm afraid I don't know why there are so many. I believe they're not all gone, and we still have some miniatures of the castle here in the town hall. I'll be off then. The guy wants to tighten up the music band even more? Is he completely crazy? If I could make my own laws here, they'd be distinctly friendlier. Hmm, apparently you don't need much more than a typecase with letters and a printing press. Okay, so we have one set of plans. Of, no. Yes, one plan and one model. So we need to find three more plans and one more model. I believe there's another plan somewhere in here. There. Look at that, a building plan of the castle. Okay, that was easier than what I thought it would be. They don't look alike at all. Hmm. Are you still working on the music band? I'm nearly finished. I just have to print it. I need some information about Form B5, Paragraph 3, Section 2, Number 9. One moment, please. So we can actually change this. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Move a couple letters around and the music band is lifted. I don't understand what people are always complaining about. Practical politics is dead easy. A type case with carefully sorted lead type. That must be boring, putting a text together out of that. The frame in which the letters are mounted is included. I guess we'll find out what the band's been changed to shortly. I think that's all we can do for now. Oh, a new notice. It says, Immediate Alobishment of the Music Band. Mmm, most interesting. Maybe I should have looked at that before we went in, but apparently the music band has been lifted. Very, very sloppily. So, let's go and find Calypso. Maybe they're hiring staff at the castle? A castle ghost or something? I'd better find out. Hello. Do we know each other? W what was that little speech before we spoke to Calypso? We already found out. How's your memory? Why do you ask? Is there something wrong with my memory? I can't remember. Eh, if you can't remember, everything's probably fine. I've seen a job offer. They're looking for a ghost in the castle. What do you think? I don't know. Aren't you too young for that job? I rather had you in mind. Why would I want that job? Because I need someone who's going to explore the castle for me? 
Well, maybe that makes sense. But I already have a job. I'm a magician. Great, a magician who's lost his magic. Believe me, this is exactly the job you need right now. A regular job will keep your mind healthy. You think so? I've no experience in haunting castles. It can't be that hard. Let's meet at the castle walls and discuss the details there. If I tell you everything now, you'll have forgotten it by the time you arrive. Ah, oh, hello. Could you possibly tell me what I'm doing here? Oh, I've been waiting here for such a long time that I've forgotten what I'm waiting for. You wanted to apply as Castle Ghost. Really? That's what I wanted? Of course! It's been your dream since you've been a little child. I think you should go inside now and audition. Break a leg. Will you tell me afterwards if you got the job? Well, okay. Then I'll go in now. I'm useless, totally useless. I'm a dead loss of playing a ghost. What went wrong? Simply everything. Yeah, first, I forgot to shake hands with the arch magician. Then my hat fell off and the white rabbit escaped. The old witch's ferret chased it right through the cold buffet and the whole magician convention was furious with me. Oh, just forget that stupid magician convention that must have been centuries ago. What about the audition? You wanted to become a castle ghost. Yes, of course. Now I remember. First of all, I, I didn't have a ghost chain for rattling, although I was totally sure I had taken one with me. A ghost is only worth half as much without rattling chains, and my howling can't even make a spinster tremble. Unfortunately, I forgot my Haunting for Dummies DVD at home, but maybe we can find someone who can give you acting classes. Surely you can learn how to howl like a ghost. Good idea! But without a chain, my appearance simply lacks the necessary sparkle, don't you think? I think the last time I had it, it was chained to a white rabbit. I'll see what I can find. Okay. There is one place we can go for some props, maybe? We haven't been there for a while. I think the last time we are here was maybe the first episode? Hey, are you fist fighting? No, not at all. We've got a lot more to offer. This is theater. You can see great acting here. I see. But why is this great acting taking place out here in the wilds where no one will see it? That's because of the river, son. Doesn't it remind you of the river Styx? That mystical river that connects the land of the living with the realm of the dead? This place gives us the ideal setting for the magnificent drama, Orpheus and Eurydice. Oh, um... So what's your tale about? Orpheus and Eurydice is a tale of true love. A love so strong that it even overcometh death. Well, sounds a bit corny, don't you think? Certainly not. Classic drama never goes out of fashion. But don't worry. 
Our repertoire also covers something for the younger generation. A heroic epic with lots of action. Where are the actors, actually? There's still some paperwork to do at the job center. You know the story. Freelance acting and bureaucracy. Orpheus? Isn't he that jealous black guy? That's a great play. No. That would be Othello, and before you ask, there's no king of Denmark running around with a skull in his hand saying to be or not to be in this play either. Oh, really? Oh, I know. It's about this dramatic love between a couple whose families are against their marriage? No, it's not about that couple. And to end this Q&A, it's also not about a guy called Punch who runs around screaming, Huzzah! Huzzah! Darn, I would have known that one. Could you teach acting to a friend of mine? Ah, the young man brings us new talent. Your friend made a wise decision in becoming an actor. Considering you're so happy about it, I guess the lessons are for free? Of course they are. The value of such an education is not payable in gold. But uh, you could do me a favor instead. We need props for our classical drama. To be more precise, we need a magic robe, a flute, and a halberd. I guess you need these for the wizard, the bard, and the warrior with a proficiency in two-handed weapons? Well, Simon's Prop Service will do their best. Do you know of an entrance to the castle? What do you want at the castle? The spectacle is about to take place here. I've got nothing to do with a castle. You'll have to ask someone else. Have you ever thought about doing a play about a young magician who came here from a far, far away dimension? A young magician from another dimension? Hmm, very unrealistic. Very unrewarding subject matter. How about a drama about a man who's hunting down his fierce double? Oh, yes, 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 yes. The evil double. A popular subject. It has to be deeply psychological. The hero struggling with his inner self, fighting against his fears and desires. Always an immature character. A hero who is so in love with himself that he can't take on real adventures. A pitiful character. Real coward, actually. Well, I guess theater isn't exactly my medium. I'll keep to my television and video games, where they still treat a hero as one should. I have to attend some important meetings. See you! These acting types are somehow strange. Okay, so we need some props. And we have seen a magic robe. Hmm, a plan of the castle with isometric building instructions. Okay, so that's the second plan. Well, model. Uh-oh, Alex is giving me death stares. I'd better leave the magic robe where it is. That robe could be really useful, but as long as Alex is standing behind the counter, I can't take it. I have to lure her out of the shop. Oh dear. 